Hey guys, it's Bizarre Individual, and I just got ready for bed, and I decided I would make a random vlog out of, really for no good reason at all, but mostly because I want to read tonight, and I need to encourage myself to actually read, and second of all, I'm practicing videos and editing and all this stuff, so I really want to get a lot better, so I thought, why not, you know, practice? So anyways, um, and then it would encourage me to read, so... Two things. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is my TBR pile. Um, I encourage myself to read and watch anime as much as possible this month, and so I um, don't feel like I accomplished as good as I could have gotten, but I have definitely read and watched um, manga and anime more than I would have if I hadn't challenged myself. So I should just be happy, but um, I thought that I would take this opportunity to read all night since I don't go into work until 5 tomorrow. So 5 p.m., not a.m. <laughs> so um, yeah, anyways, let's just go over what I want to get done. I don't know how to say that, but you're, uh, yeah, bitch club. Um, I read volume and it's thundering. So if you can hear that, I apologize, but what better night to read. I love it when it's thundering outside. But anyways, um, I read the first volume of this, and honestly, I was confused. I was really, really hoping to like it. Um, I read something else by this uh, mangaka, and I, it's one of my favorite yaois. So <laughs> I thought I would give this one a chance, and I really want to like it. I posted on um, Instagram that I was confused. Um, I'm getting the characters confused in the first volume, and the story just didn't kind of captivate me in. So, um, when I said that in my story, someone com um, sent me a message back saying that read volume 2, because volume 1 did that to them as well, so I'm actually glad that they told me that. So I'm definitely going to give volume 2 a chance, and I'm going to actually, eventually, if I, if I absolutely hate volume 2, I probably won't continue, but... Um, I also have volume three, so, um, I'm definitely going to give this one a fair chance. Um, the premise is this kid goes, starts a new school, a college or whatever, and he joins a photography club. And I think, cause I think in the school you're, re you're required to join a club. And so he stumbles upon this photography club and he's like, okay, I'll join his photography. How hard can it be? Blah, blah. And it turns out to be, a, um, instead of a photography club, it's like a hidden sex club. And all the members have sex with each other. Um, I do know that two of them are like in a relationship, but they're allowed to, like, it's an open relationship. The head and some other guy, um, there's problems there. I was just, honestly, I think I'm just dumb. But I was confused on the characters, um, who's who, and the art. I love the art. Um wasn't surprised I love the art because I love the manga because other work so um yeah I mean and yeah the story didn't really bring me in and then um I was confused like I said my characters so I'm definitely gonna give volume two a chance next up is Tokyo Ghoul as you can see I'm about halfway through a volume six um I am really enjoying my read of this I just need to get back into it because I um, got busy with work, and once I set something down, I problem with not picking it back up, or, and then I'll get distracted with other things, like reading other things. So I need to get back into this. I am really enjoying it. Um, I got the box set, so I have up to volume fourteen of the like first part. I know there's three, but let's just say fourteen is complete. So um, if I have time tonight and don't pass out, <laughs> I am going to try to read volume seven of this. I decided because that would be halfway through the series, so at least I made halfway through, so that might be more encouragement to keep going. But, um, I got to the part where the anime started boring me, so there's that, but, um, I, I'm gonna, even if I'm, like, even if I'm bored, and, like, and I'm still enjoying it enough, like, you know, so that's what, kind of what happened to the anime, like, I was bored, but I was still enjoying my time enough to continue. So that's how I feel like the manga is going to be. So I'm just going to kind of push through the boredom and um, I'll still enjoy it. So I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah, Tokyo Ghoul, enjoying my time with that. 
Next up is A Love Stage Volume 1. I am reading this with my friend um, Sky. We host Yaoi Talk every Sunday together, and her pick was to read the manga to her favorite anime series, and she loved um, Love Stage anime, so um, yeah, so she got the manga, and we are going to read it together, and I'm super excited, and um, yeah, so I just need to get on it. So um, yeah, I have this thing where I'm forced to read. I Even if I want to read it, and then I'm forced to read it, I don't do it. Kind of like everything in life. If I'm forced to do something, I don't do it. I put it off. I don't know why, but anyways. So, um, what better way than a challenge? Um, and yeah, look, the white wall behind me. Like, you would never know that I liked anime or manga by looking at my room. But um, anyways, um, yeah, love stage. So next up is, I love how I showed those yaois and then um, Vagabond, Omnibus 3, which, six, so I think, Seven eight nine is contained in this one. I think it's um this big three in one. I think yeah. So I think there's three in here, but um, I am loving Vagabond. I don't know why I put it off so long. Um, it's like just the right amount of like blood and gore for me. It's actually not too too graphic, even though there's a, there's a lot of killing, a lot of fighting. I love the backstory. I love the plot. Um, I love the characters, um, it's just right up my alley, I'm, it might become on, like, my top 10 favorites, which I don't know why I'm surprised about that, because I do really enjoy some seinen, um, but I don't know why I put this off for so long is what I'm trying to say, but yeah, so, um, I'm buddy reading this with um, Elias, I was trying to think of his, um, new YouTube channel name, which I can never think of, but anyways, um, yeah, so, excited to continue, I really don't know how far he is along, I think volume two maybe, so I don't think we're far off, so that should be fun, I will message them and talk, um, to see where they're at, so I can have a better understanding when I'm reading it. And then next up is when I need to take a break from reading. I started this and I fell asleep, not because it was bad, but because I was tired as crap. And yeah, it's about, um, it says host, manga artist, high school student with a secret. So it's a comedy. Um, the first episode was fun of what I remembered of it. I think I finished the first episode and I was on episode two when I fall, fell asleep. I might just restart it all over again. But anyways, so that will give me a little bit of a break, and then I'll get some anime out of the way. So I'm planning on finishing Tokyo Ghoul, reading two yaois, and then at least starting Vagabond on Muse 3. I may not finish it tonight, but if I start it, then there's more chance of me actually finishing it tomorrow. So I'll definitely finish it by tomorrow, but um, anyways, I'm just going to end this here and check back in with you guys after I finish the volume. Okay, I've been reading for an hour and a half now, which is actually quite good because I got um, three volumes finished since this is a three-in-one. I uh, scratched completely everything I said about taking a break in between this one and reading something different to... I thought I'd kind of break it up, but once I started this, I could not put it down at all. <laughs> um, this is just so good. I don't... I kind of see why no one like gives the synopsis or um really talks about why this is so good because it's quite difficult there's just so much going on um i said that this was not um too graphic for me and in this volume it got too <laughs> quite too graphic for me um but i still really enjoyed it. Um, one of the characters they gave a backstory to, which was quite intense, but it definitely gave the character more, um, personality. And, um, I really enjoyed, um, bonding more with the character and understanding why he was the way that he was. Um, this just visits, um, it's pretty much based around three childhood friends. Um, is what 
I guess my favorite aspect of this story is and um how they have to kind of um become their own um it kind of shows each of their lives um as they separate and um it's just it just got really dark and a lot more fighting in this one um there was a point where I was just like I honestly don't care which one of y'all dies just please get this fight over with <laughs> to be honest um but um yeah I read this in one sitting it took me an hour and a half which it normally takes me like an hour per volume because I read slow so um and there's three volumes in this so yeah I feel like it moved along quite well granted it has a lot of like action fight scenes um the art in this is stunning as everyone knows let me find that one page if I can find it if I can find it Trying to find a color page for you, but I guess I'll just show you this page. It's just amazing art. I absolutely love the art. It's just so real and it's stunning. But anyways, so that's all I read so far. So that's all I can update you on. Um, probably going to take like a five minute break and um, probably go get a snack. Um, and then I'm probably, I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I kinda wanna watch an anime, but I know if I watch the anime, I'm gonna fall asleep. So I need to at least finish one book. Um, I guess I'm going to get this one out of the way because I'm more excited to read Love Stage. So if that makes any sense. Um, kind of read what I wanted to read the most first. I wanted to start off with that one because I was most interested in the story. And now I'm going to read kind of what I'm least interested in to kind of get it out of the way. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a good time. So yeah, anyways, I will update you after I go get a snack and then um, read this and I might go feed my dog. But anyways, I will update you in about an hour and dinner is served mariah she really needs a haircut we're gonna give it to her probably in the next week but she's super freaking picky like she won't eat any dry food now so she only eats wet food so it's kind of a pain and she won't eat in front of any of the other dogs that we have we have um three other dogs and yeah, so it's a pain. So if your dog won't eat wet food, let me know what you give them. And yeah, was it good, Mimi? Hey guys, <laughs> might have to go to bed soon because my dog is getting very mad at me <laughs> and she wants me to go to bed. But, and she controls me. So anyways, um, yeah, I took a very long break. I went and watched Shay Geeks Out, Reading Rush, day one video, which I just love all of her videos. Go check her out. But anyways, uh, then I ate and then I read this. And um, I'm really, really sad to say that I am going to DNF this title. Um, I just can't get into it um a lot of the characters kind of annoy me and um I just kind of like the cousin rivalry in it um the guy that you think's like super nice he's faking it and um he's always been jealous of his cousin and he kind of wants to get revenge on his cousin by um getting with his cousin's crush um yeah, that part was kind of fun, but oh, dude, I want to like this series so bad, but I feel like I'm forcing myself to. Um, they had a camping adventure in this one, so um, I'm kind of talking myself into liking it because of the first part of this with the cousin rivalry. 
Okay, I'm gonna read volume three at some point. Um, I guess I'm not DNFing this yet. I'm gonna give it one more volume. One more volume, guys. Why do I do this to myself? If I don't like something, just drop it. But anyways, um, yeah. Then I also finished, if I can grab it, Tokyo Ghoul Volume 6. I am back in the story, so, um, yeah, I'm back in the story. It's gotten quite exciting. Um, still very, very gruesome. Kind of too gruesome for me, but I am really enjoying it. Um, yeah, he, the main guy gets captured and, um, taken and him and some other guys that actually, some of the guys that captured him, they had to capture him, but they all try to escape together because there's like a higher evil and, um, yeah, I won't ruin any more for you, but I'm excited to read volume seven. It's just, this is very slow moving for me. So it's like, I really like it. I really like the characters. I want to see what happens to them. It's just slow. But um, yeah, so that is, I didn't get to watch any anime yet because I'm getting super tired. So I know if I put that in, I'm just gonna fall asleep to it. And I'm surprised I read so much already. All I have left is Love Stage. Um, don't know if I can update you guys tonight because um, my friend really needs to talk to someone. So I'm about to call her and stay on the phone with her. So I don't know how much I can read um, and listen to her. I don't want to be a bad friend. So um, we'll see if I finish Love Stage. I know I will start it and I will at least finish it probably when I wake up in the morning, but I will update you on, um, do like a little closer and tell you my thoughts after I finish Love Stage, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. And yes, I just finished Love Stage Volume 1. Sky would be so proud of me. Um, my thoughts. I absolutely loved this. This was my favorite read and I was kind of dragging because I just read another Yaoi that I didn't really enjoy so it's kind of like I wasn't like in a Yaoi mood anymore but this just got me right back into it and I kind of want to give this five stars but it's kind of a little bit of a problem, but the overall series might get five stars from me. I don't want to jinx it, so I probably shouldn't give it five stars yet, but I absolutely love this volume. I love this series so far, even though it's the first volume. It was great, and now I see why Sky loves it so much. But anyways, I am falling asleep. So I even went and had some coffee before I read this to kind of keep myself awake. Um... Yeah, I'm going to brush my teeth and rewash my face and check back with you guys right before I go to bed or if I fall asleep, it will probably be tomorrow morning. Hey guys, I did it. I read all my TBR, all six volumes, if you count the three and one is uh, three and yeah. It's just, um, end this now. I'm ready for bed. My dog is pissed at me. Mariah wants to go to bed and she keeps climbing on top of my books and on top of my phone and it's like, turn out the light. I want to go to bed. But <laughs> anyways, I had so much fun doing this vlog with you guys. Um, next time I think I'm going to read it downstairs, so I'm not so comfortable. <laughs> but anyways, um, I read Vagabond first. My... I thought I was gonna have to like break this up into sections and I just read right through it. it. Took me an hour and a half to read like the equal out of three volumes, which it takes me normally an hour to read a volume. So that should tell you how much I was enjoying it. Um, it definitely gives some backstories to some characters and you learn more information about them in each one. It's just a really epic story about um, three childhood friends and 
their struggles of growing up and living in this like samurai type um murderous world <laughs> um yeah it, it it's really good i would um rate this four stars uh definitely some volumes are five stars but um this one was four stars for me um but yeah the first one was definitely five stars the first uh, omnibus but anyways um yeah it's definitely getting a lot gruesomer and um it's interesting how the story progresses. It's pretty much all about this guy that um, wants to be the strongest guy in the world. And so he just goes around and fights um, super other strong opponent, uh, opponents to the death. So yeah, really enjoying that. Can't wait to get into um, volume Omnibus 4, which is 10 through 12. But yeah, um, yeah, I checked with Elias and he is on volume two and super busy with starting school and stuff. So, um, I might need to slow down on this, which is fine because I want to get back into Tokyo Ghoul. Um, so I said I was going to try to read the seventh volume. That didn't happen, but it's okay because I read everything else. But, um, really enjoyed jumping back into this, um kind of left on a cliffhanger in volume six um this is definitely not something i would normally read it's so gruesome um just yeah i don't know why i really like this story i guess the characters kind of drew me in but um a solid four um i mean i know tokyo go get some hate and i can see why but i'm really enjoying my read um really enjoying it so uh, probably the next volume I pick up is going to be another one that I'll get to in a second. But um, volume seven of this is definitely second on my list to pick up. But really enjoying it. Um, it left off in like a, a... They're trying to escape and I guess I'll just spoil it. Uh, spoil warning. Um, they try to escape and they get caught. So yeah, which is kind of disappointing. I kind of wanted them to escape but, you know, that's probably why it's so gruesome for me. Next, I read, never gonna pronounce that, ER Auction Bitch Club. And, yeah, like I said, I didn't really enjoy the first volume. Um, I'm, I'm gonna read volume 30 because I like to torture myself, but I have it, so might as well. I'm not failing this series at all. I probably give it a two, two and a half. Probably I'm being too nice with two and a half, so probably two. Um, I don't know. I just can't get into this. It's about a sex club. Um, kind of don't like the characters that I do know who they are. Um, I did understand more of the characters in this one. Um, just there's a lot of annoying characters and, um, Something really interesting did happen in this volume. There's like a cousin rivalry and jealousy and um, I really liked that. So that was like in the first half of this and then the second half was like camping and mm, couldn't really get behind the, um, they said that they liked the um, after story, didn't really care for it. I don't know. I'm not feeling this, and I'm kind of disappointed and kind of mad about it, um, because I was, had really high hopes for this one, and yeah. Next, I read, as I was trying to fall asleep, so I had to go get a lot of coffee, and I was, now my stomach hurts because I chugged so much coffee, but, um, Love Stage for Yaoi Talk, uh, it was Sky's Pick, and we're gonna review the first three volumes, so I need to finish the number two and number three before next Sunday, but I definitely will because I absolutely love this. This was my favorite, favorite thing I read all night, and um, I love this volume. So it's pretty much this dude right here. He's an otaku. He wants to be a mangaka, um, like he wants to be a manga artist, and he can't really draw that well. And he keeps practicing, and he's not getting any better, but um, 
yeah, so, and he's in, like, a manga club. God, what's up with yaoi's and clubs? Anyways, um, he is in a manga club, and, um, he's obsessed with this one manga and, or anime, like, and he's obsessed with it, like, he has the posters, the figures, um, yeah, his parents are both, like, in the entertainment industry, and, um, I think, like, they still act and stuff, but they're not, like, as big as they used to be, but they were really big, so they had, like, a lot of money, and then this guy right here, um, pretty much, uh, their mom was in a commercial when she was, like, younger and famous, and she got married, and she threw, in the commercial, she threw a bouquet, and her son had to step in and be the flower girl, so they dressed him up as a girl when he was little, because, um, the flower girl, uh, like, bailed out, so they needed to do, replace last minute, so the mom wanted, like, more fame, so had her son dress up as a chick and do it, which is fine when, like, you're little, it was, like, really cute, and then this guy played, um, the, like, the little girl's, girl's crush in it, but, um, then he became famous after the commercial. He grew up to be like a big actor. And so um, they want to redo the commercial. It's like the 10th year anniversary and they want them two to get married, the little girl and the guy that they were staring at after the girl caught the bouquet. And so anyway, so he's had a, a crush on the girl in the commercial or at least like thought about her for 10 years now and it's really excited that um he gets to like see her again and you know all that like crush and emotion and build up up to 10 years doesn't know that it was actually a little boy dressed as a girl and so um he doesn't want to do the commercial at all but his brother which is also a famous actor um bribes him with his favorite anime um I think it was like an anime clock or something and then keeps bribing him with like his favorite anime pillow it's hilarious like I absolutely love it and then the shenanigans of him finding out that it's a boy and first he's freaked out that he likes a boy but then he's like I don't care um yeah it was just such a good first volume I love it so much I can't wait to continue it. I will read the next volume today for sure. Um, I need to go back and read this and take notes for the Yaoi talk, but um, I loved it. It's, I don't want to get it to five stars yet, and it did have a little bit of a problem, but I mean, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, but I think it's interesting, like his, fam his family is so like starstruck and like they want to be famous still. And they're still famous, but like, you know, like, when you get older and you retire, like, people still know who you are, but you're not, like, as famous. They still, like, want to be in the spotlight and they try so hard. And it's, it's just, it's so funny. Like, I, I love it. And I love how he's in Otaku. Um, I need to stop raving about this. It's just supposed to be a little clips of each one. But anyways, um, this might become, I don't want to jinx it. Why am I doing this? Might become my favorite yaoi. But anyways, thank you, Sky, for making me read it, finally. It's been sitting on my shelf. And what's weird is, like, I tried to read this before, like, three to four years ago. And I couldn't really get in the first volume. And I don't remember any of it. I don't remember why I didn't like it. So it's weird. I've been doing that a lot lately where, like, I'll revisit something and I'll either absolutely love it or I'll absolutely hate it. And before I liked it and it's weird like it's such a strong different opinion it's not like it was okay and you know both times or you know it's like one or the other and it's weird how my tastes change but there you go and I did not watch any of my anime that I planned to watch but um I did more reading than I thought so that's good I didn't really want to watch this so I might watch this sneak this in today sometime but um like I said I do have to work later and I do have to sleep at some time and all that junk. But, um, yeah, um, and I would put this in now and go to sleep, but I'm, no, I'm just going to pass out. So that's not going to happen. <laughs>
But anyways, I had so much fun doing this and I got through more than I thought I would. So like I said, I didn't think I was gonna read all of Vagabond, but I finished um, these and then the Vagabond Omnibus. And I will end this clip now and um, let me know down in the comments what you guys are reading.